In this video we will formally justify our choice of the notes of the C major scale, and the notes of the chords that were used to harmonize it in previous videos, proving that the notes of this scale and these chords occur naturally as a result of the modes of vibration of physical systems such as the strings of an instrument. In order to perform this verification, the table with the frequencies of the notes of the chromatic scale over the octave starting at the note C of 261.63 Hz has been attached on the left side. The animation given next, taken from the second introductory video to the clock analogy, whose link is given in the description, contains the key to the generation of the C major scale as we conceive it in this video. Notice how in their progression on the clock phase shown on the screen, the major chords of C, F, and G, whose conformation is shown in the table to the right of this phase, seed the notes of the C major scale, which are shown colored. The C major scale is of such importance for the development of the theory of music that, in order to begin to treat early concepts of this theory, we introduced it, without further explanation, as a selection of the notes of the chromatic scale that we obtained through experiments in the first videos dedicated to the search for the musical notes used in Western culture, hence the need for the present formalization. In the video Harmonics on Vibrating String, whose link is given in the description, it was indicated that the frequencies of vibration of a string are given by the formula shown above right. To the right of the table of frequencies of the notes of the chromatic scale is a table indicating the frequencies of the harmonics of the vibrating string for the fundamental frequency of 261.63 Hz, corresponding to C4. Note that, given the limited space available, the frequencies of harmonics above the 13th that do not add additional notes of the chromatic scale have been omitted. In this table we see that there is a preponderance of frequencies corresponding to different octaves of the notes C, G, and E, so we will proceed to form a chord constituted by this triad of notes, the C major chord, and to place it on a staff. Note that, according to what was studied in the video corresponding to the familiarization with the intervals, whose link is given in the description, this chord is constituted by the following consonant intervals the perfect fifth interval between the notes C and G, which has a perfect consonance, the major third interval between the notes C and E, which has an imperfect consonance, and the minor third interval between E and G, which also has an imperfect consonance. So this chord is considered a major perfect chord. The C major chord has provided three of the eight notes that constitute the C major scale. To complete this scale, Two other major chords will be formed, with the same interval configuration of the C major chord, with the notes corresponding to the harmonic frequencies. These three chords together provide nine notes, so there will be a repeated note. The next chord we will add will be the F major chord, which has the notes F, A, and C, the last one being an octave away from the initial C. With the addition of the C and F major chords, we have six of the eight notes of the C major scale, the notes D and B have yet to be added. The G major chord provides these two notes, its G note is common to the C major chord. Although the G chord provides the note D, it does so on the following octave, D5, so when generating the scale we will lower this note one octave to insert the note D4 corresponding to the octave considered. Here is the result. This video has provided a formal validation of the conformation of the C major scale that we have used in several videos on this channel. The method used here can be applied starting from the frequency corresponding to any of the other notes of the chromatic scale to obtain other scales, but this would be impractical and would not add new concepts. In another video dedicated to the study of scales we will consider in more detail the conformation of this C major scale which is the canonical model for major scales, and we will use this conformation to generate the rest of the major scales. In this process, we will answer questions such as the need to use accidentals and the order in which they appear in the different scales.
An important detail to take into account is that in the generation process described above, chords were created on the notes C, F, and G by adding two notes separated by intervals of third. In the video dedicated to the harmonization of scales we will apply this procedure to harmonize each of the notes of a scale. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that in conjunction with the video on the importance of scales, it has motivated you to continue with the study of scales, fundamental knowledge to understand the way in which tonal music developed in Western culture works.